We know that many of you are counting down to a wedding this spring or summer and some early birds have already begun planning for next year. It's never too late to get some fresh ideas and here are some of the latest from Durban. Each year a popular wedding venue becomes the scene of a spectacular bridal mela. It's both a showcase and a celebration of everything that makes an Eastern wedding such an incredible experience. Live Entertainment presented a Bollywood-style wedding fantasy on stage. The dancers set a celebratory mood. Fashion is undoubtedly the fair's biggest drawcard and while contemporary interpretations and creations have their fans, the magnificent ethnic outfits have timeless appeal. Red is the traditional colour for an Indian bride with gold embellishment almost obligatory. Retailers, designers and specialised service providers can present their latest products. And its success can be attributed in no small part to convener Sudhir Pragji and his team. It does help people that want to shop for garments. They don't have to get on a plane, go to India stay in a hotel and look for clothing in different shops by taxi. All you do is come to the bridal fair, you'll find everything here. Many of the exhibitors have established a long-standing relationship with their clients. I have a lot of customers in Durban and uh, we wanted to just promote our brand. See what we make here is 90% it's all handmade. It takes uh, like one outfit takes like 12-13 days to make one outfit. So this is for mainly for South Indians, some saris. So we make everything, right hand sarees, South Indian sarees, silk sarees. This is one of my favorite outfit. You can see that this is a skirt behind. Hello. Uh, it's a long jacket over it. We do a lot of fusion also as a western gown. It's a western and eastern fusion you can say. That is doing very good now. That's a trend for the next season. But it's not only the brides who get to look fabulous, because it's also for the grooms and dads. These are the shorter western suits. These are for the dads or the people attending the function. We can make these in the colors that they want. This is a little less detail, sherwanis as well. They are with a little lesser work on it. And then we have more or less the shorter ones where this is a combination of both the western and the eastern put together. Fashion is just one aspect of the fair, which covers almost every item on a bride's wish list. Bridal jewellery is more than just an accessory, with many pieces being specially created. Gold is Lakshmi, it brings a lot of wealth, prosperity. It's an inter integral part of, uh, of a wedding itself. It's great being able to view the garments up close, but the daily fashion shows offer an opportunity to view many different ranges in a single sitting. This year we've got 12 different houses that are in the fashion show. There's uh, designers that have come from overseas, there's stores that are from overseas. We've got local stores from Durban and from Johannesburg as well this year that are all in the fashion show. And then obviously the dance extravaganza that we have this year, it's amazing. <laughs>
popular vocalist Shival Singh once again travelled from India to be the star performer at the fair. This is my second time over here, so you have no idea how amazing it feels. Here people are really sweet, I would say that. Yeah, I love people here. I love Durban, I love South Africa. They're so lovely, they're so warm. They make you feel just like home. So I don't miss India at all. While style takes priority for the audience, the event also offers local performers and models an opportunity to work with their international counterparts and choreographers. I definitely enjoy celebrating our Eastern culture and uh, being able to exhibit it to not people in, from only from Durban but to people from all over South Africa, Southern Africa and people come here to see the best of what Eastern Way has to offer. Baby, go best person